greeting cyber dogs and citizens of the interpubs. <laughs> this is Ren Diggity Dog kidnapping a cartographer in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. We are kicking off exactly where we left off in the previous episode, my friends. We found a village, another village in a savanna biome over here in a giant desert biome. And we found an amazing cartographer who trades 26 paper for one emerald. And if we unlock all of his trades, he is going to give us a map to a treasure here in our Minecraft world. <laughs> The problem is we need to get him back to the Moleshire safe and sound. So that is the task for today. Also, uh, we found, found a whole bunch of desert temples in the previous episode, didn't we? Plus a whole bunch of other junk, which we have in our inventory right now. I kind of want to clear my inventory out a little bit over here and collect a little bit of sand before we head off back to the Moleshire or try to get there anyway. Um, because we got this massive biome that we found, this massive desert and... Man, we're going to need a little bit of sand, actually, in the in the near future, uh, because we can use sand for a whole bunch of stuff. Number one, we can use it to grow some cactuses. We can use it to create glass. We can use it to beautify the Moleshire. And currently, the Moleshire has no access to a lot of sand. So, let's get for ourselves a few stacks of sand out here uh, while we kick things off for today's episode. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are doing well, man. Hope you got something tasty to sip on today. I got myself a delicious cup of coffee, which I had in the previous episode, but forgot to sip on. Give me one second. Mm. Oh, man, there we go. Okay, I'm hoping that today we can get this cartographer back safe and sound. I also want to work a little bit more on the railway lines today, guys. A couple of episodes ago, we laid down the gravel for our railway network. Uh, we also mined up a ridiculous amount of iron on an adventure uh, a few episodes back. And I want to I want to basically get the railway connection between the Moleshire and the Holiday Inn completed today. Hopefully we've got enough iron and gold to do that. So hopefully we can get back in one piece, get our, our cartographer into the Holiday Inn. Uh, Grodo is feeling a little bit lonely today, uh, or he has been feeling lonely anyway. <laughs> and uh, he needs a friend, doesn't he? I mean, Frodo had Sam, and Grodo needs a... Uh, a... Uh, a... Uh, Gam? <laughs> is this cartographer's name going to be Gam? Uh, I think so. How much sand is that? Okay, that's quite a lot of sand. That's probably more than enough. Yeah, I think we're going to name this particular villager Gam, guys. <laughs> Gam and Grodo. <laughs> the Gobbits. Oh, man. Uh, that is, of course, whether we can get him back or not. Uh, now, we're going to do this in a very interesting way. Let's just collect all of the sand. That should probably be enough sand for us for now. We're going to get him into the ocean, and hopefully this ocean is going to connect to the Moleshire. I have no idea where this, uh, this ocean is going to go. What we're going to do is follow this compass over here, okay? So the compass is pointing in that direction. Our spawn, the Scalabut farm, is somewhere there. Okay, so that seems easy enough. All we got to do is get into the ocean. Uh, yo, Gam, my dude, uh, say goodbye to your friends because, well, you're never going to see them again. <laughs> You've been living a nice, peaceful life out here in the savannah, and you shall now be a gobbit. You have been kidnapped by the Ren Diggity Dog, and that's just how it's going to be, dude. <laughs> you're just going to have to get over it, okay? Also, we left our horse, which is a little bit sad. Uh, we saw this little island in the previous episode. Is this an actual island? If so, that's kind of curious. I'm guessing that this is kind of like a peninsula over here. This is like a giant bay, I'm thinking. And isn't it absolutely gorgeous here, man? My goodness, it is gorgeous. I feel like we're coming to a dead end. Yeah, this is... Wow, this is really awesome. Look at this bay, guys. Really, really beautiful. Is, is there a river in here that we could follow... It looks to be a little river. Maybe this cuts these mountains in twain. And maybe we can get ourselves through here, actually. This should hopefully go through into an ocean. No, that looks like... Uh, <laughs> going to reverse. Meh. 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 <laughs> Gam is just like, what? Who is this freaking idiot that has kidnapped me, man? I gotta spend the rest of eternity with this fool who drives into walls and boats. I'm sorry, Gam, my dude. Uh, I'm st this is Minecraft, my man. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? We're probably going to have to go all the way around this peninsula, though. Uh, that's a really beautiful bay, though. I really love that. 
Uh, we're still on e in exploration mode, of course, guys. We could potentially stumble across an interesting biome while we travel around the coastline over here. Um, and there's so many different biomes that we can find in this game that would be really, really helpful for us. In the previous episode, we were talking about maybe finding a Mesa biome, giving us access to an insane amount of gold and an insane amount of clay. We could find a jungle biome, which would be amazing. That would give us access to vines. It would give us jungle trees. We could find a jungle temple up in that business. Oh, still, still so much to discover in Minecraft. We, sh we could also very potentially stumble across a mushroom biome, which would be really, really lovely lucky if we did uh, but I'm not holding my breath on that one now if my bearings are correct guys I'm thinking that as we follow this coastline over here we should stumble across the first savannah village that we found at some point right that's kind of where my navigational tinglings are pointing toward <laughs> Navigational tinglings. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, man. I'm, I'm getting super excited about my holiday. Okay, guys, the brain is starting to turn off. Rain Dog is starting to enter holiday mode. Uh, I'm currently in recording mode, but yeah, we're starting to shut down. Some, some updates are being applied to uh, the brain. <laughs> the holiday update, the 2017 holiday virus scan update is slowly but surely being installed in the brain. Um, but we still got a couple more episodes to go here, guys. Um, so let's let's try and get through this, shall we? Let's try and get through this with minimal derpage. Get out of my way, squid, you freaking idiot. Uh, now, we've been traveling around this coastline for quite some time now, which is worrying me. However, there is open ocean over here too. So let's have a look at our compass. Our compass is saying that spawn is in this direction over here. So let's just go in this direction for a while, see what happens. Theoretically, we should hit our spawn area, and that way we'll be able to get Gam all the way around the corner into the Holiday Inn. And we found a name tag on the on our caving adventure, didn't we? So we could actually name Gam today also, which is going to be kind of sweet. That's if we can get him home safe and sound. I kind of recognize this lump in the ocean, which means that we're pretty close to home right now, actually. <laughs> this is awesome. I think this might be the rendering of our home, actually. Uh, unless this compass, of course, is wrong. And it looks like it might be wrong, or we, we're going in the wrong direction anyway. Uh, this is just... This is just ocean right now. There is nothing. I, Gam, my dude, I, we might be lost. We, we might be lost and we have no water. I'm seeing some coastline, my friends, and this looks to me like our coastline over here. I do believe that this is where we live. And, well, kind of. It's definitely the biome in which we live. But I think I've probably gone wrong again. What is going on here with this compass? I think this compass is actually wrong. I don't actually know what's going on here. We've stumbled across another coast or another island. I've got a feeling that this is our island though, right? Because this is that biome very close to spawn. Yes, here it is. We found it. This is the Scalar Butt Farm. There it is. There is our pillar over there. Beautiful. So if we follow this coastline all the way around here, we will actually get to the Holiday Inn, which is amazing. And then I guess we're going to have to use the piston trick to push Gam into the Holiday Inn so he can join his friend Grodo. But there we go. There's the start of our railway line that's going to take us over to that Savannah continent. And uh, task one for today has been completed, my fine friends. We managed to capture a cartographer and we've got him back to the Holiday Inn. And uh, we're going to have to unlock his trades at some point so that we can get his treasure map. And that's going to make me really happy, guys. Because it's actually something that I've never done in Minecraft before, is get a map from a cartographer. So I'm super excited. Here's the Holiday Inn. Gam, you're home. This is your new home buddy what, what do you think about it i mean he's taking a good look uh you like it um you're doing some exorcist vibes dudes uh i i'm guessing that's a no then <laughs> Welcome back to the Molshire Cyber Diggity Dogs, and it looks like the top of the storage hole is slowly but surely evolving into a savannah biome. I've planted all of these rare resources that we have discovered on our adventures uh, in this open area over here. We're going to clean all of this up at some point, but yeah, we don't have easy access to cactuses and acacia trees out here in the Molshire, so I'm um, just going to use this space to sort of collect a few of those blocks for now. 
<laughs> I've planted the cactuses on the sand and we're going to let them grow out here. Uh, but we got much more important things to be focusing on today, guys. We are going to be building some railway line action right now. Let's get ourselves into the storage hole. I've, I've uh, emptied out my inventory of everything that we collected on our adventure. Looking pretty good. And uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough iron and gold to actually make a complete railway line. But let's have a look. How much iron and gold do we have? We've got quite a few rails, which is good. Are these activated rails? No, these are powered rails. So we're going to have to make a few more of those. And uh, to make powered rails, we're going to need a butt ton of redstone. So let's collect all the redstone that we've got over here, or at least 32 of them. Uh, anything else that we need in here? I guess we should get some blocks of redstone too, in case we need to make some more of that. Now, let's see how much gold we've got uh, in total. We've only got 57 gold in total, which is probably not going to be enough powered rails. Also, I don't really like removing the awesomeness of my sorting area. I like to keep all of the, uh, the blocks in the double chest, right? But I think we're probably going to have to do with this amount of gold and that's two stacks of iron which isn't the greatest i've also renamed this name tag to gam so we can name our new cartographer gam uh, when we get back to the holiday inn and i also want to collect oh i think the paper's out here i want to collect this paper uh, that i have been storing over the course of the last few episodes managed to got, get quite a lot of paper from all of the sugar cane growing around the mole shire we can use this paper to unlock gam's trades let's take the fortune three pickaxe with or the fortune three uh, book with us anyway so that at some point we can make a fortune three uh, enchanted pickaxe at the scale butt farm okay so that's looking good on the resource front i guess we should start making ourselves some railage um and yeah let's start with making some planks we're going to need a whole bunch of sticks over here so let's make the sticks and rotten freaking zombie flesh and inventory get out of here and uh, let's see how many of these powered rails can we make I'm thinking that maybe instead of wasting all of our gold on powered rails, why don't we just make uh, a stack of powered rails for now? I think that's probably going to be good. Oh, that is all of our gold out the window. Okay, we're going to need a bunch of redstone torches though too, right? Or at least 59 of them uh, to match the number of powered rails. There we go. How many did we make there? Not enough. Okay, let's get a little bit more redstone over here. And uh, let's complete a stack of um, redstone torches over here. That should be good. Okay, so we got the torches. We got the powered rails. Next up, we need the actual rails. And, well, we could probably make quite a lot of this. Is this all of our iron being used? Yeah, that's all of the iron being used over there, unfortunately. Uh, that's just how we're going to have to do it, though, because we're going to need a ridiculous amount of rails to complete our railway line, right? And uh, all of these resources, I guess, we'll just have to leave here for now. Um, yeah, let's, let's try and clear some of the inventory. There we go. We need that paper. Okay, so... That should hopefully be enough rail action to at least get us from the Moleshire all the way over to the Holiday Inn. And I guess we'll start right over here. And, well, what I'm going to have to do, of course, is add a, a redstone torch underneath each of these powered rails. It's going to be kind of tricky over here, though, so maybe we won't do it over here. But, yeah, we're going to go powered rail and then a whole bunch of normal rails. I think we, we're going to go eight rails in between each powered rail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? Let's make it ten. Nine, ten, just to keep it nice and even. And uh, this is going to be the line that takes us back to the Moleshire, I hope. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this, guys, off camera because it's going to take a heck of a long time. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll have a functioning railway line connecting the Moleshire to the Holiday Inn. <laughs> progress, baby, progress. So I've been making some pretty good progress out here on the railway line, guys. We're almost at the Holiday Inn. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough rails to get us there, though. We've only got about 110 rails left to go. And uh, the way that I've been making this line is every 16 blocks or so, or every 16 tracks or so, I've been adding a powered rail. And that should give us enough momentum to get all the way back to the Moleshire in a mole cart. Uh, a mole cart? <laughs> A minecart, Ren, you freaking idiot. What's wrong with your brain, man? Uh, but yeah, I'm a little bit worried about whether or not we're going to get to the Holiday Inn. Hopefully we will, because I'd very much like to go on a bit of a rail journey with you guys today. Uh, and it would be a very great achievement for us here to be able to connect our two major parts of our world right now uh, with a bit of a railway line. So let me lay down those large bit bits of trackage over here. Hopefully we will connect to the station today. Uh, hold your thumbs, guys. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so unlucky. Look at this. We just have a tiny little stretch to go to complete our railway line, and I've literally just run out of normal rails. 
That is uh, kind of annoying. I suppose we could finish off this railway line by stealing a few rails from some of the unused lines. Actually, we should probably need to do that. I'm very happy with this project, though. It's actually turned out really, really good, and we've actually connected the Moleshire to the Holiday Inn. Unfortunately, we are now once again out of iron, <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think that we just dropped all of that iron into this project, right? Ridiculous how much iron you need to make railway tracks in this game. Uh, but that should hopefully be enough tracks. Another 14 tracks. Is, is that going to be what we need? Let's have a look. Uh, we should probably need to steal a few more of these, actually. Okay, one, two, three. We literally need another five or six tracks, I guess. But guys, the railway line is actually finished now, or at least the connection to the, uh, the Molshire is finished. So to end off today's episode, we're going to go on a little bit of a journey. <laughs> Let's pick up this minecart in preparation for this. Oh man, this is going to be so freaking sweet. Next episode, of course, we're going to kick things off by unlocking that cartographer's trade. But I am super excited to take this railway line all the way back home, guys. Because um, I've been working on this pretty hard today. And uh, why don't we just add another couple more powered rails over here, actually. Just to ensure that we're going to have enough momentum uh, to get ourselves all the way home. So, that should be good enough. Well, let's add another one over here just before the corner is taken. And uh, then we can go plonk ourselves in the railway line. Sit back and relax. Go on a little bit of a journey. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get there. Do I have a button here? Uh, no, let's make a wooden button. That should be what we need to kick things off in our rail cart. There we go. Let's get the button in place on the platform. And uh, if this has been done correctly, my friends, we should be able to get all the way back to the Molshai. You guys ready for this? Uh, boom, we're off. Station is le uh, Train is leaving the station. <laughs> my goodness, my brain, guys, my brain. Been placing too many railway lines today. Uh, but yeah, if I've done these powered rails correctly, we should be able to get all the way back home via this railway line. And uh, this is kind of a beautiful journey that we're on right now. This is the very first time that we have connected two parts of our world together via a freaking railway line. History in the making here at Minecraft Survival, guys. So far, so good. I mean, it's a very relaxed journey, isn't it? I mean, we're traveling through some beautiful areas over here. Got some beautiful forests going on. I guess one thing that we are going to have to do, though, for this railway line is add some lighting into it, right? We're going to have to add some lampposts or torches or something. All right, here's the first big test. We got up the hill nice and smoothly. Beautiful. And this should be smooth sailing now all the way to the mole hole. Should be no more issues uh, to get there. And yeah, we're going to go all the way up this hill. And we're going to come over the top. And here is the Molshire looking absolutely glorious. Our railway line is working, guys. Absolutely amazing. That is so freaking epic. I'm so happy with that. Um, I'm not happy with the fact that we're going to have to go get a ridiculous amount of iron to complete the railway line. But you know what, guys? That's going to do it for today's episode. It's been a busy one, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next episode, we're going to go trade with that cartographer. See what he has for us and hopefully we can get a treasure map for ourselves and uh, then we can go on a really serious adventure in the series thanks for watching guys rendigity dog signing out hey we'll smell you all in the next episode <laughs>